YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Big E Smalls Podcast. Podcast. And today we have, I think it's a very juicy question, but before we get to that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoy the video, and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. As always, I do have a little side question. This is kind of a trivia before we get to the main topic, okay. right? And my trivia question is, can you name me um, the World Series winners from 2000 till now? I know a few. I, I have them here just. I have them here just in case. Five. Oh well, I was going. He's only asking this because he already knows it. Yeah. Top to bottom. Yo, fun fact. Fun fact. In 01, I was at a World Series game, the 2000. Um, 2000 in New York. Diamondbacks Yankees game. How? Uh, my you stepdad. Like four. <laughs> yeah, my stepdad took me. I remember. Yo, you know what? Okay, can I throw a curveball at you guys? Oh, go okay. ahead. All right, listen. We can agree that I know most, if not all, yeah. from 2000 to now, yeah. right? And I have a feeling that you guys are very knowledgeable, so you guys are probably going to know a couple. Yeah. But this just reminded me about something else, and now I want to use this as my little side question. Okay. Is there ever a sports moment that broke your heart and you did cry? Oh, man, cry. yes. Like, you cried. Like, yes. it, it hurt you so bad, you were defeated. Yes. I'll go first. Go ahead. When Altuve hit that home run off the chat, <laughs> bro. No, nah, let me just explain. Let yeah, me no, just go ahead. Yo, yeah. Mayu hits the home run. Yeah, I remember. I'm yes. at Ashley's house, yo, and I'm the first thing I do is I pick her up. I'm like, yo, this is it. This, this, this is our is year. It. We, this is our time. Which it was our year. Yeah. Yo, no, I'm like, saying. I'm like, let's go. We go in. We go into the bottom. What? It was the bottom of the ninth. Yeah. Or bottom of the tenth. Uh, no, we, I don't think we went to actual. Alright, so it's bottom of the ninth. No, they and in my head, I'm like, yo, Chapman, let's go, bro. Close the door. Yeah. Let's do it, right? Yo, so I'm, I'm, I'm suspensefully watching, suspensefully watching, and I remember seeing that, <laughs> seeing that change of go, and... Altuve has just sent the Astros to the World Series! And I just my boy, knew, my boy ran third base like this. I just knew it. And in that instant, he, yeah, boom was right. <laughs> he was in knocking that, on that sucker. In, in that me. instant, bro, I remember I just dropped to my knees. You hear that? <laughs> it was loud, bro. You hear that knocking? <laughs> oh, it was. I heard it from here. It sounded Yo, like it sounded like a trash can. <laughs> I hear you. I, okay. that, that was definitely. But but that but, one changed. Uh -huh. And definitely 04 when we let Boston come back down too. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Because uh, that was yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But wait, you just said something right now. What? I was going to say, the fact that he knew a changeup was coming, and it was away. Like, it wasn't even like... I thought it was a really good pitch. Like, Chapman throws 100. You're, mm -hmm. you're thinking fastball. And in the count that he was in, you're sitting on a changeup away, and you take that to left field. It's just mind-blowing on how good they are. Like, he knew that pitch was coming. He took a Yahtzee. Like, if he doesn't know that's coming, he's with that, it. I mean, that broke me down, but opposite. I, I had so much fear. I mean, not fear. <laughs> anger in me. Oh, man. Bro, was hurt. Chapman threw it, and he, he just smirked. A, He's like, ain't no way. I, I don't think I watched that World Series. I probably didn't either. I don't think I watched it. Was that, that was the year they played the Nationals? Yes. Mm, no, no, because they won it that year. Oh. Uh, they won it that year. I want to. Who did they play? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I have it here, but while I'm looking this up, you could say, Yours. do you have them? Does it have to? No, I don't know. I don't think oh. I really had a crying moment. Wow, apparently that, breaking one. That that one hurt. That one hurt. Yeah, apparently that World Series was good. It was against the Dodgers and it went to seven. Uh, don't remember. And I don't yeah. care. I don't think I watched it either. Yeah. So you don't don't have one. No, I don't have a moment where I was crying. I don't. I don't have one. Damn, this sounds. This is going to sound pretty bad, so please, no, respectfully, I'm going to no. ask this question. Mm -hmm. How far back do you remember watching baseball? I don't know. Maybe, like, a league? Really? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, I didn't really get to start really watching. Yeah. watching. So, you, so then I believe you. I believe you. <clears throat> if you don't, if, because the two years that I'm going to name, yeah. Like, and I know. And there was a third, but, like, but I, I mean, technically it's four. 
But I didn't cry on the third one. I just, I, I burned the jersey. Mm. I burned the jersey. Um, I'm really going to get into my number one and number two. My three, four, I'll just breeze right through it because honestly, it doesn't, it's whatever. Number one is all one. Mm. And I think th- this is what is specifically what I remember. 2001, we all know 9 11 happened. Yeah. I remember, I think it was game two. Game three, George, the president at the time, throws the first pitch after 9-11. Mm. That was a monumental moment because it was in New York. We didn't play in Arizona yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah. So it was a monumental moment, and you could tell that it, it was for us. We had to win it. Yeah. it. You know, everything happened in New York. The Yankees were in the World Series. Yeah. Um, I don't... Arguably, we could say that we were the better team. We were supposed to win that World Series, not just for baseball. I think we were supposed to win that for the... For the United States, I, yeah, I you know, for America, America. Um, ah. <laughs> what I remember is I think it went to game game six, game seven, whatever. The freaking Gonzalez hit to end the whole thing off. Unfortunately, Mariano. Oh, yeah. And I remember being at my aunt's house. We're all there now. The way my the dynamic of my family is this: me and my dad, diehard Yankee fans, diehard. Everyone else. Some of them are Mets, some of them are Boston, but at the end of the day, all they care about is that the Yankees lose. Yeah. Right? So we're at my aunt's house, it's like 50 of us. Jeez. And that happens. When I, t- I, I thought the windows were going to bust of mm. how loud they cheered because we lost. And all I remember is, one, I have this, uh, I, I don't even know what to call it, but I have a pet peeve. I have like a pet peeve of very, uh, not subtle, but like instant loud noises. So because they instantly went from we're watching the game to yeah. it, one, it freaked me out, and two, we lost the game. So I am bawling my eyes in the back of the living room, I think I remember. Pretty big living room because it literally was 50. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. We, it was 50 of us in there, right? Obviously, 04. Yeah. We all know 04. And 04 was more of an anger cry because I remember kind of like, I remember crying, but I remember yelling out, like, how can this happen? Because if you remind, if you guys remember correctly, game three, we blew them out 19 to like six. Yo, I, yo. Supposed to be a nice we three. were supposed to, we were supposed to take care of We go up 3-0 in game three, we win 19 to three or 18 to whatever. So obviously for the entire city of New York, we're like, yeah, we got this in the back. Yeah. For them to then lose four games straight. Sure. Sure. And then lose it to a Dominican. In the fashion that we lost it too. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, I cried. But that was more of an ang- yeah, angry cry. Four was tough. Three and four were two Super Bowls. Uh, I, I think it was 07, 08, or 08, 09, whatever, uh, when we first. I'm a Patriots fan, so the first Super Bowl that we lose to the Giants. I burned my Randy Moss jersey. Yeah! Burned my Randy Moss jersey because. It wasn't that we lost to the Giants, it's that we lost the perfect season. And I was tired of these old. I'm tired of you old school Dolphin fans talking about the perfect season. The perfect. You guys played like 15 games, all right? And without Dan Marino, we're not gonna get into it. But <laughs> you guys, I don't care, bro. No, don't talk to me about your perfect seasons. Yo, Yo I know all a right? lot of Dolphins fans too. Yeah, yeah, and they, they always they talk go about, hard. Oh, but we went they for Austria oh, boys. On, like, what? But whatever, we're not gonna get into it because I can go through. That's a, that's an episode itself. <laughs> and then, even though we won, even though we won. Halftime, oh. that Atlanta Patriots Super Bowl, I was heated. Yeah, that first half. I walked home. I left my car at my friend's house, walked home, yeah. and watched the rest of it. I we felt, won. I felt but we, we watched the. I watched the rest of it at my house. I thought the game was over. <laughs> I nah. was livid. I'm like, there's no way to win. Well, I don't want to disrespect Atlanta. They did have a good year that year. But we had one of those years where it was like, oh, yeah, bar none, the Pages are going to win. The, and we're down 28-3. Yeah, a lot you know? of great plays in that game, though. So many great plays. Well, they couldn't catch a they, ball. That, first Edelman time. had that crazy catch. No, we couldn't. We could, but Julio had yeah. a crazy sideline catch, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Julio had good, both Jays. Julio and Julian, they yeah, both had great catches. Crazy catch. But, yo, we're going to get to into the main topic. I'm going to say this little last point. No one believe if you guys, I mean, you guys I probably don't care. Me as a Patriot fan, I know because I've watched all nine Super Bowls that we played or whatever, how many we played. Bro, since the Tom Brady era, our receive we always have, well, except for maybe against the Rams and against the Eagles. 
No, we, the second one that we lost because we won the first one. Yeah. Right. Um, we always have at least top 10, top 15. One of them is a top 10, top 15 receiver and or tight end. Right? Bro, I don't know what it is. As soon as we get to the Super Bowl, butterfingers. <laughs> butterfingers. I've seen, I've seen Gronk miss passes between the numbers. Julian passed between the numbers. I will never forget the Super Bowl. The, the first Super Bowl we lost to you guys. Besides Randy Moss, because I think he had his, like, nine catches. I've never seen Wes Walker, Aaron Hernandez, and yeah, Gronk yeah. just fold. Can't catch anything. But, whatever. I don't want to get into a tangent, because then that's going to be an episode for itself. <laughs> but, the topic of the day. I don't know if y'all ready. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, let's lock it. Ready. Let's lock it. I might have to get up a little bit. Because I know E doesn't like my all. He knows I don't like him, but would Joker be able to be as elusive, efficient, and good in the 90s? Your thoughts? You want me to go first? You can. Get the straight things. You can. Yeah. In the 90s, who do we have as centers? Let's, 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 let's ride. Let's, oh, let's, oh, this is a good start. Okay. Um, the, the, from 90 to 99, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, premier center is probably, uh, what's this guy from the Knicks? Ewing. Hakeem. Hakeem. Shaq. Shaq. Uh, we count, we, no, I'm going to count the Admiral. A few moments later. Um, okay, I, I'm pretty sure we're missing at least a five, ton. Five or, five or ten. Uh, but yeah. what, how many we name? At least six there, right? Yeah, yeah. six or seven. Now, <clears throat> Would he be? Would he be as efficient? Yeah. He can score. The I think some that that he does pretty well as a big is shoot the ball wherever he's at. He can shoot the three, and he can shoot fifteen footers. He's got floaters. Now the only thing I do think he probably would have struggled with, or in my mind, my opinion, is I think he would have had to adjust is the physicality of the game then. And I'm only saying that because if he would have had to go against Shaquille O'Neal and actually had to guard him back then, yeah. there was nothing he was doing with him. Like, let's just, let's just put that out there. There was nothing he was doing with him defensively. But I don't think that Shaq was going to stop him. I, I don't think that any of the centers that we named, Hakeem, like, they would have had their way offensively, but so would have Joker. Away from the room. Away from the room. That would have been that would have been the difference maker for him. Okay. That would have been his difference maker. Was he gonna be able to bang with them down low? Probably not. But even then, he still would have probably gotten like like a good six, eight points in the in the post. Everything else probably would have been predicated off of him getting get going off the dribble, bringing him outside of the paint, because a lot of them were slow on their feet. A lot of them played their defense on the block in the paint. So, not coming out. Sorry. On my phone, I know, but I wanted to really get into big men in the 90s. Yeah. Because I know we were missing. One huge one we're missing, Matumbo. Uh, yeah. uh, Alonzo Mourning. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why they have this. Brad Daugherty? Da oh, da uh, Daugherty, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really think it was all that, but whatever. Vlad Divac. He's frying him. Um, now... I knew, I knew he played, but it wasn't really, even though he played great, but we, yeah, are, we I guess. are we going to put in Tim Duncan? Yeah. I think Tim Duncan is giving him work. Not nah, Tim Duncan. No, but I'm saying in the top nah, big man categories. Four. Yeah, true. True. But it, right. the, the only reason I'm saying is because what he, he only played like, what, three, four years in the 90s? Two years in the 90s? True, true. So yeah. that's, that's, All right, yeah. so that's I, the I only reason why I'm asking. Nah, yeah. So I wouldn't put him in there, but Timmy would have gave him that work for sure. Okay, and then they have this other guy, and I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm not even gonna say his name because I'm no one cares. Okay, no one really cares. I don't know him, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't, and I really don't care. Like, like I, the game, and the game was just played at a different clip. Like, I think he would have gotten fed the ball a lot more than he already does now, in different in different ways. Yeah, too. I was about to say in different ways. Um, one, uh, I think a uh, rebuttal question to your question would be, <clears throat> would the Nuggets team he plays on now, would they be able to play that way back then? No, they're not yeah. playing that way. So, like, Joker, they don't – he spreads the floor. He has shooters around him. 
Yeah. They're not, they play inside. He would literally have to try to score. Exactly. Like, he would have to, and, and especially point guard. He's the playmaker. It's not the point guard running it. Yeah, you know and, I mean? and we're saying, and I, I'm, I'm asking just in a sense, like, he's on the Nuggets team of the 90s, not his team that he has now. You yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a plug and play kind of. Exactly. Like we're taking Joker off this team and, and we're putting him in that one. one. Yeah, it it would have been it would have been tough for him, but I think he would have gotten it, bro. I, I think like yeah, y'all know how I feel about Joker. And it, it it's crazy because I remember in the beginning of this year us having a conversation and I'm saying like, man, Biggs ain't what it used to be back in the day, and he proved me wrong. I think he can I think he'll hold his weight in a sense of spreading out the floor, are we, like, my question, like, the question is, like, would he be able to withstand and you're saying yes. I think he would have definitely struggled, um, but he's, his game is predicated on a lot of other players. Yeah. Because um, of how good he is with passing the ball. So I think that would have been a struggle if they didn't play that way. A lot of his one-on-one, we don't really see much. Yeah. They're so worried about him and how he can pass the ball. And, like, if we're going to be honest, like, I think it's even harder to name me five centers that are actually pretty good in the league. Yeah, yeah. Today. You know what I mean? Today, can we name five centers that we're like, all right, they can get on the block and get a bucket? And beat. Offensively, probably not. You know, like, they, they, they can bang down low. Okay, maybe hit a, a mid-range. Yeah, no, that's like, what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Offensively, centers. Yeah. Having to name fours. Yes. No, no, no. Right. We're keeping we're keeping the same. Centers, there's probably three. Yeah. So you got MB, Joker. No, I'm not counting Joker. Oh, I think so then the, I think the three centers to okay. defend your point. The, I think the only a side of Joker that can get to the bucket. I mean, excuse me, get to the block and probably get a bucket is Embiid. I'm going to throw cat. Okay. You got to. And yeah. I'm going regardless of how bad his play. Me, personally, because I know what he can do, Aiden. I think DeAndre Aiden can... I hear you. But I'm not saying against Joker. I'm just saying no, a center general, that can get that buck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And other than that, I don't... I don't. And if I'm disrespecting any other center, I don't think there's another center out no, there. No, because the reason why... There's I, just yeah, defensive centers. Yeah, defensive or lob, lob yeah, threats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's a four. Yeah, You know what I it. mean? Defensive lob threats. So I feel like when you... The only reason why this is a question... Is because of how dominating he is. He's really dominating the league. Are we throwing in Przingis? No. No, he's a okay. four. Right. You know what I mean? Because he's where we're saying like he's really, really killing, which he is. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to pinpoint it, and which is why the question is: yeah. Would he be able to be as dominant as he is in that day and age? Is because of how little centers are. You know what I mean? And if he can go out there and bang with those guys, and if he were able to, would he be able to withstand that and go ahead and go get a bucket? No. So, now, you know how I am. I like to be clear with, with topics. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, we already um, cleared up that this is a plug and play. We're, Plug and we're play. taking Joker, we're throwing him on Denver or whatever team mm-hmm. in the 90s against X amount of centers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's a five on five, but this is a one on one type of question. Yeah, can he be dominant? So to answer that, no. And this is why. You, or both of you, alluded that most of his game is predicated off the players around him. He can shoot the three. He has certain moves in the block, right? So he could probably... Now, talking in that era, he's probably not shooting the three. Let's be honest. Like, whatever system they had... Centers didn't shoot threes in the, yeah, in the 90s. Yeah, then it, it would have been... So the way I see it is, even though it, even though we know he can, yeah. whatever the Denver coach is at the time, whatever, I'm pretty sure he's not setting a place for him to shoot a three. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, he's going to make Joker get on the block and make a move there, which he can't beat that lead because he could probably do some post moves. And because he can pass, his post move may lead to a, a pass out to a shooter or whatever the case may be. The reason why I say he's not dominant is he can't be that center point that Denver uses him as. He's not bringing up the ball. 
Yeah, like, yeah. He's not shooting. Uh, he's not going to shoot the three at the high caliber he's shooting it now. So that's already two elements of his offensive game that we're kind of taking off. Yeah. Right? He could probably bang in the post, and then his passing could probably help him out in the post. But is it going to be dominant? Like, that's not his dominant at offensive that's attributes. Right? Where I think he's going to probably get hurt a lot is defensively. He, I'm not going to say he lacks defense, but he's not top five best of set defending centers in the league right now. Yeah. We can even argue he's not top ten. Right? That being said, Shaq's post moves, ridiculous. Footwork, he's not catching up to Olajuwon. Yeah. The Admiral and Duncan, because I know Duncan can play the five, two very fundamental players. It's going to be very tough for him. Someone like Matumbo, very uh, very aggressive in the post. So it's going to be difficult for him. I'm not saying he can't stop him, but it's going to be difficult for him to stop. Yeah. So to answer your question in the sense of, is he going to be dominant? No. Can he probably play in the 90s? Yeah. He's not going to be he's not going to be the 30 and 10, 30 or however many rebounds. He might be a 15 and 10. 15 and 10 and 8. Because he's going to get, he's probably, in the post, he's going to get his gonna assist. Get, he's going to, yeah. He's going to get his assist. Yeah. But right off rip, like I told you guys, because of the style of play and how certain things are happening in the 90s, he's not going to shoot the three ball at a high volume as that he's shooting it now. And his whole playmaking off the inbound is not yeah. happening. He's not bringing the ball. Which takes away from his game. because that's Which how takes away from his game. Not saying he's ass. I'm just no, saying no, no, in no, the no, 90s, just... he's not going to be the joke, the joker. Yeah. He's just going to be Nikola Jokic. Yeah. Like Sabonis back then. Not junior. No. The you mean thing. senior. Pops. Yeah. That's a perfect example. Yeah. That's literally a perfect example. Because, well, I mean, we're kind of seeing it with his son. Because his son kind of mirrors his game yeah. almost one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Almost one-to-one. Facts, one facts, one. facts. So, yeah. Yeah. No, literally just like that. Mm -hmm. Literally just like that. And... I mean, the only other way, the only way it could be effective is, is if he wasn't, because what's Joker, 7 foot, 7'1"? Seven yeah, yeah. If the Joker is 6'7", like a Barkley type, maybe. Because Barkley did the whole bring up the ball, kind of run the offense through Barkley yeah, thing. Yeah. But that's because yeah. he's 6'7". Like, he yeah. has to go against the threes and the fours. He's yeah. not going up against the fives. No. He's not. But because Joker has to go up against the five, not saying, uh, once again, I need to iterate that I'm not saying he can't hold his own. I'm not saying he can't get 15, 20. Maybe he'll blow up and get 30. But you're not going to be the Joker that we know today. Yeah, yeah well, I, the question is dominant. Can he dominate no, against his I don't think Joker can be dominant in the 90s. I'd Consistently dominant. No. Yeah. He might, like I said, he might blow up one game. What? Got a rebuttal? Um, uh, I... I just, I, I I think we're gonna have to agree to disagree here. Oh, you freaking! Uh, not that, not oh that thing. God, no, I'm just saying, cause like, defensively Yo, he gets killed by Embiid. I get it, bro. I get it. But like, even look, first of all, we're gonna bring up, we we gotta nip that Embiid stuff. It's over with. And no, Embiid, Embiid you. can't win. He can't even make it out the East. I hear you, but we're we're talking about just. B to play defense and be dominant. Like okay, one on one, and B kills him. Yeah, just that's well, he the, kills the, him. But Joker also gets his. Do you think? Do you think B would relish in the nineties? That's more their play style. His play he style. Play, yeah, that's more, more to their play style. I don't. I don't think his, his mentally. I don't think he okay. would be able to dominate. I think he would be average center. Okay, I agree with you because I was. I was gonna. I was gonna tell you straight up, and beat is not surviving. No, 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 no. Because and, uh, and unless, he gets unless, hurt now, yeah, I mean, unless he proves healthy. me wrong mentally, if if you can't win three two against Boston, yeah, at home, like I, you're not. So, Shaq is putting you to Shaq. You're done. You're done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's the only reason why. Like, if we had a couple of centers, like and beat is the only one, so that's the only reason why we compare it to, and he gets. He gets scorched on by Embiid. If you get another guy like that, or a couple guys, like four or five guys, to test my theory out, can he guard and defend against those guys, then I would have to shut up and bite the bullet. But when a guy has post moves, can shoot the mid-range, and go ahead and get to the block, it's scary for him. So I feel like if we don't have freaking Gil... What's his name? Uh, from the Minnesota... 
Bears. Go Bears. Bear, we got go Bears. We got trash. All these guys are just rim rim run. Like that's easy to protect. And what they do defensively at Denver, they drop. So don't guess what? All those rim runs, cutting them off. We're letting all these shooters shoot those mid range. So it's easy for him to play defense. Because guess what? We don't have to worry about any center in the league. We just worry about one, and that's Embiid, and he's soft. Yeah. So if you think about it, there's realistically one center and one center only. Joker. Yeah. I, I, I still think, like, in the 90s, no matter what, all those centers that we named, they was going to have to guard him, too. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think, I just think he prolifically as a scorer, Regardless if he's shooting threes, he the his his ability to also pass out of the post with his back to the basket and then being able to face up and still make things happen, I still think he could have affected the game greatly that way. No, I and I I'm not I'm not disagreeing because he you, you your point was is that he's not dominating the league right now with his defense. No, so he could have done. Offensively, he probably could score just as well back then as he is now, just in the post. Why not? He does this. He can score in the post now. I don't. I don't think we have any defenders that can go ahead and match up against him. And offensively, I'm, we all know how it is. If I can only play offense, it makes my job a lot easier if I don't got to play defense. Yeah, no, I get that. That's... We just. I. I can literally go at you all. So put it to you like this. I just feel like if Joker's out here. Going one on one, being able to make moves, make plays. It's hard for go bear, get on the block, go get a block. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard. Like it's so much easier to go ahead and play defense of, of a guy who's just gonna set right, a that, pick. That point. Drop, drop. That point. I get. I get you. It's just exhausting if he can play on both sides. We just don't know. We don't know. But don't guess know. what? I think his offensive acumen has spoken for itself, though. Like, yeah, when you got no no one to match up. No, I get it, but even even still, even if he had to match up, like even though Embiid gives him forty, he's going right back at Embiid every time. No, yeah, but a more, majority of the time, I feel like he fails. One on one, he has to look up. You're saying the Joker. Yeah, one on one. We're not looking at winning and. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Because okay, okay, okay. we're just talking. So you're about saying number, numbers wise. Yeah, numbers wise. Oh, okay, wise, okay, okay, okay. That was about the, Denver no, no, no. They, they probably went six out of the oh, zero. Oh, okay, okay. But we're just talking about being dominant and yeah, just yeah. another player being able to match up against them. Yeah, so that, that's why when I was saying my point, that's why I was being clear as this is one on one center. Yeah, yeah. Center yeah. to center. Iman on Iman. I get it. But now I'm going to throw this at you, right? <laughs> Plug and play. We're throwing him in the 90s. We all know 90s center play is not that. You know, it's just that the block to block. Yeah. Whatever the coach was in Denver, I don't remember. Me neither. Okay. Um, what if? Matumbo might have been on the Nuggets. This is I. Uh, yes, I know Matumbo played on the Nuggets, but I think most of, most of his years I think was in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, big if. But I want to start some, you know, a, a different conversation, right? Please go ahead. If this is where you're going, I hope so. Let's say the coach figures out a system for Joker. Oh. This Joker. Okay. In the 90s. So now we're saying this Joker run 90s Denver the way he ran this Denver. Oh, yeah, so it, he's shooting threes. He's he's, spread, he's, he's being the point the center. Floor. Yeah, yeah. All, all that fun it, stuff. It, that it gets seeing. ugly. It gets ugly. You, you think? It gets ugly. I don't, I don't know because I feel like with the hand checking and how they go ahead, there's just a lot of hands at play. I just feel like he's not, he's not quick or elusive, so they're gonna, they're not gonna one let him go ahead 94 all the way up the court. He's gonna get pressed full court by a center. I'm not saying by a center. Oh. It's very simple to go ahead throw a guy. And then drop back. Yo, but, <laughs> but the thing is, is like... Having Shaq play full court. No, yeah, yeah, Shaq. no. It's, it's insane, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, Shaq, go ahead. Well, even though... I'm so sorry. Ball. Let me not disrespect Shaq. I know Shaq was very mobile. Yeah, back in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Orlando... Yeah, Shaq no. was different. No, that was yeah. different. So, I think let me not... have guarded him 94. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Him... The only, two, the only two centers that I can think of is him and Olajuwon. Yeah. yeah. Olajuwon's literally a point... 
Yo, Elijah Warren was disgusting. I, his but that's what I'm saying. Like, no, but the, the Ralph being Sampson dominant. Dominant. Okay, being dominant. I know. Ralph Sam- Sampson playing in the nineties, right? I don't even know. And I'm only saying that because Joker what didn't, wouldn't, didn't have to. Joker didn't have to defend him, but I think Ralph Sampson was a very defensive center. I'm about to look that up. No, but yeah, I was about to do the same. I'm, I'm only saying because I think if Ralph, because that was Ralph was on Houston, I think. So if it was him and Elijah, like, yeesh, scary. Nah, that would be <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous. You can continue. I'm gonna look this up. Sorry. Nah. Uh, to your point, would he have been dominant? Probably not. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say he has definitely changed my mind on what I what I thought about definitely him as a center yeah. and just the idea of what a center can be because as you guys know like to me like I'm really big on guards yeah. ones twos I think you know you know this is just my opinion I just think that the ones and the twos really dictate a lot of the flow of the game mm. um go ahead no I want you to finish this point because this is actually another you know, if question yeah. I wanted to ask because there is a team that did, I think, what you're going to get to. Unfortunately, they don't have rings to show what they did in the 90s, but finish your point, and then I'll get to that. I, I think that, you know, this year, um, not just this year. Let me, let me, let me stop saying just this year because it was, it was this year that kind of, like, changed my mind and made me really look into the numbers and look into what he's done the past three years like what was it was it this year that he could have won mvp and it would have been three years in a row mm-hmm. three years in a row he been yeah first one. yeah right he would have been first one he would have been the first one mm, no three in a row no no there's two other players that have three yeah oh, he would have been oh in that club he would have yeah, been that club I think, yeah there's two other players that had three you know but you know when, when i started like really watching the film and seeing what he did and watching just the the growth like, I, I remember bringing up to you guys, like, the bubble, watching him in the bubble struggle against the Lakers. But he was still playing well. Then the next year, he made another jump. Jamal Murray gets hurt. Another, next year, another jump. Wins MVP number two, right, because that's what it was. And then this year, he doesn't get MVP, but he dominates in the playoffs. Yeah. Like, to me, I was like, whoa. All right, maybe, maybe I need to just give a little bit of credit to the center. And, you know, like, not just him because, and like, we spoke about Embiid. Yeah. He's good in his own right, too. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's kind of like, cha- kind of like, it has skewed my, my outlook on bigs for sure. Now it's, it's actually three other players. Three other players. Moses, uh, I just had it up. But it was Moses, Moses Malone, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Jeez. Yo, and you was talking crazy about Larry Bird. No, 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 no. He can shoot the sh- out of the that's, ball. That's I'm saying he, guarding defense. He won three I'm MVPs. giving him 50. He won three every Larry Bird, bro, I'm giving you 50, bro. I'm so in the block. Dolo. Dolo. Right. Did, Matt, did you not Michael just look Jordan. I'm doing the not bro, just I'm look doing up. the top. Yo, hold on up. the block. He not guarding me, bro. Hold up. Hold up. About 170, six foot five. I am 225, six four. Wait, he won three MVPs back to back to back. That has nothing to do with one on one play. But can you on stop? him, can you stop? I was trying to understand because like I get okay, I get it. If you were trying to say that you could drop points on him, that's cool. And I get it because you know he wasn't that swifty of a player. No, he can shoot. But the white boy can shoot yo, that rock. Yes. Yo, he can do more than shoot. No. Yo, listen, I had. Oh, I know. There, there was a very side note, but because we're talking about Larry yeah, Bird yeah, right yeah. now, there's a pot. Uh, wow. Paul George has a podcast. Yeah. Right? And he just had t- uh, Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton. He just had t- uh, Halliburton on the podcast. And, you know, he's on the Pacers now. And I think Larry Bird is back on the Pacers on doing, I don't know. I don't remember what's yeah, the position. He's, but he's doing something, yeah. He's doing something with the Pacers. Paul George. Paul George said, first impression, which worked very well for Larry, of Larry. Larry just came in. He was, I guess they were in practice. They went to the gym. He just came in. They didn't say nothing. He just picked the ball from like 30 feet. and Knocked it down. In slacks in a suit. Right? 
Now, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but all I'm saying is, he literally, Paul said, he would have missed that, and that would have that would have ended everything. In my mind, you're butt. Yeah. But because you're Larry Bird in a suit came in and nothing but net, Larry Legend, in his mind. That being said, he's probably dropping forty million. <laughs> Bro, that's fine. As long as I can give him fifty, he can give me forty. But no, I'll give it. Listen, the way I shot you, I was going to throw. I don't want you. Pro- you probably can because yes, today the strap on Paul. Yo, cut it out. Yo, talk about the uh, the jump shot on whatever. <laughs> the way you were shooting the rock today, yeah, it was kind of lethal. It was it was kind of lethal, buddy. But let me tell you, <laughs> Larry, legend. No, I know he's burning over me. Yes. <laughs> Yo, we gonna have a day, bro. And he's talking to you. That's fine. Yo, he- I chirp too, bro. Yo, yeah, but it's one thing to chirp when they're, when it, the, it just- He's got everything to lose, bro, going against me. If no, I'm, fam. And he's up back here. There's no, nothing you're me, doing. Let me tell you something, bro. He's if not getting Larry, it up here, bro. Larry has I'm been here. Nah. He's not going to get Larry. Larry. He's like 6'8". Six, 6'8". Six, yeah. Larry has you I'm at the sorry, shoulder. bro. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Larry has you at the shoulder, back to the basket, and he goes, listen, I'm going to go. I'm yes. going to spin nah. around. Oopsie daisy around I'm your head and you got an ankle, but you got nothing. <laughs> All right. He's not going to tell me what he about to do and then do it. Hitting him in the ankle is a low blow, bro. <laughs> and even if he did that, he might still. Nah. He might still. Nah. Bro, he went to the all-star break and, and, and said, which one of y'all coming in second? Yo. Yes. Bro. Yes. I'm in the NB. I'm speaking spizzy too, bro. Yo. First can of you all, handle, pause. Dang. Can you handle? <laughs> what are you saying? Would you be able to handle the nineties trash talk? Yeah. Yes. Both of you? No. I'd be giving me. Both of you. Me, probably not. But he doesn't him, say much. I him, talks. Really? Him, yeah. Nah, he gets to it. Yeah. That's that's. So what? What? I'm not. And oh, not. <laughs> bro, and every time I, I play with you, you're I, like I was a mine. Say, I almost, I almost slipped up today. I, but real talk, because there was a. We're all getting sidetracked, but the guy that was guarding me, I said, I'm like, he can't shoot, so I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go help. Today, today, old boy was like, Yo, you're gonna drop? I said, Yeah, because he can't shoot. And I was like, Oh, damn, I've been quiet the whole day. And it slipped. I'm like, He can't shoot. He okay. made one all day. One I, gotta, all day. I gotta say, since we've, got, since we've gotten older, it's it, with him, it's definitely calmed down a little it's bit, it's a little more mellow, yeah, baby mellow. Because now, because now I think he finally does what I've been doing. Like, yo, like, you don't got to talk when the game really talk for you. You feel me? It's, it's, yes. But when people are talking, I'm like, all right, bro, step away. I'm guarded. I'm yeah, guarded. Yeah, that's how you are. I know. I'm a guard up. Larry Bird still giving you 50. Ah. <laughs> that's fine. I'm you, giving him 60. No, I don't think or so. Or 51. Nah, no, at least. And, yeah, I mean... And the Joker is probably giving you 50 as well. I'm just saying. That's not fair, bro. Why is it not fair? He's 7'1". And Larry's 6'8". Bro, he's got 200 pounds on me, bro. Pause, first of all. But... God. <laughs> pause, first of all. But... Just saying. That's unfair. He got what? So, <laughs> all bodies. No, but yo, real talk. So, bro. what I thought you were trying to get into, right? Yo. Yo, wildin' out, yeah. We are bugging out. You know what? Let's let's lock in. My bad. My bad. Let's lock in. Um. Now I did want to bring up this scenario with Joker, right? We already we already went through it, right? Yeah. You could probably say that the Joker. Wait. We all agree that the Joker's probably not going to be dominant. I guess. But he, no? I think I think he's going to be good. I don't know if he would be as dominant as he would in this era. It, right. Now. Throw in a lot of ifs, right? And yeah, where I thought you were you were gonna go down is the way Utah Jazz played in the ninety with the whole uh what's the white boy's name? John Stockton. John Stockton Malone combo. I don't know what was the point guard in Denver. I don't or or well I think it was wasn't it Mahmoud? Wasn't Mahmoud the point guard? Where? Rove in Rove. Denver? He might have been in the nineties. Now Whatever. We don't have to say him. Let's just say he has a, a a Stockton type of point guard. Do you think then you would think that maybe not dominant, but be the Joker? Uh, if he had 
Because go. we can also say a lot of his success nowadays, even though the one year he was hurt, yeah. Jamal Murray is part of it. This goes back to our conversation we had that, that one weekend about, like, if we felt that centers in the league could, could be the catalyst to a championship team, and what we say, it all depends on if they had a pedestrian or better type point guard. Correct. If Joker had Mahmoud, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop it. Don't even, don't even try to come up with it. Yo, my voice is crazy. Don't, <laughs> even, don't even try to come up with something because you know you there's there's nothing. Yeah, but you my thing is I feel like he needs a scoring point guard. I'm not. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not saying he's not. I'm yeah. saying that's what he needs. Oh, yo, pull okay. up, pull up, bro. No, I no, no. I'm, I'm not. Cause that's that's the point. He yeah. can score the ball, oh, yeah. and what does Joker do best? Pass the ball. Yes, yes. So now it's scary. It's a one-two punch that you don't want. Exactly. I hear you. But that comes again with passing the ball. We're just saying being dominant. One on one. One on one. Yeah. I guess. I think he can hold his own. I think he will. De- Yo, if you put him in the in that free throw area and you have guys away from the basket, and they gotta move against them, he's gonna put them in trouble. Yeah. Like, and if we even include the three point line, and you have Shaq sitting up at the top, you're hurting the defense by taking yeah. the rim protector out. I definitely think he's a difference maker. But then if he has to defend, so foul trouble comes in in a big issue. Especially that defense in the '90s. You know what I'm saying? The physical. Like, I think. He will be great. I don't know if he would be okay. as dominant the as the outside is ninety feet away. You cannot, bro. We watch a lot. Of no, people. I know, no, I'm no. Not. But what I'm, that that'll obviously that'll help if he's got a lot of distance from the next player to the other. He he he'll do some damage. I think so. And if he has the right players, I also think that'll help him if he has a scoring point guard. If he has John Stockton, I don't. They both pass the ball. Yeah. He's not. He's not gonna benefit from him. Okay. okay. So he, he would. Yeah. So you right. need. Uh, yeah. What's a really good scoring point guard? Uh, it. Maybe yeah. it. Uh, and it's hard because in the nineties you didn't. The, the point guard was actually the point guard. You know what I mean? They but, weren't scoring yeah. first like that, these ones and twos are now. That's why I think it's an issue. Again, if he if it was a plug and play, but he's playing with. The system we're playing in the 90s, I think that's what limits his game because yeah. he's not, he can't be the point center now. No. You know, he has to be the center, yeah. you know? And even though that that is a part of Joker's game, it's not his most pivotal part. Yeah. Can I tell you this? Um, and this will probably be helping you. If you put in the right system, like if he played in that triangle offense, sorry, then it might be a little different. True. But, because that, that... But even they messed the, it up because one European player that they picked up yeah. that was supposed to be is Kukoc and Kukoc didn't play the way he was playing in, nah, in he, Europe. He struggled with the, yeah. the track. You know, so you now know, that, you that, don't think, I mean, that could be because obviously the, the vocal point is Jordan Pippen. Yes. I, I get it. But if you have a player like Joker in that triangle offense, passing the ball, that movement, that going up, down, across, no. I think that puts him in three spots yeah. where he can be the Joker. And I'm with you because if you, guys, if you guys watch Denver, it, he's basically running a triangle without setting the triangle offense. Yeah, they run that high freaking yeah. pick and roll and they go so ahead. And the, I agree with and you. Yes. you put, throw him on the Bulls. God. And, but let's say, you know, there's no MJ. Like, he's the pit. They're running a triangle offense. Yeah. He has Pippen, Kerr, Robin. Yeah, I, yeah for or sure. Or even in the Lakers with Kobe, took sure. out Shaq. What would have happened then? Probably been the same result. Well... To end this, let's have a little fun. Okay. Top 10 centers. Right now. Top 10 centers. Or of all time. All time. Let's do all time. Because right now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with them. We don't really have that many centers we can... I mean, we can make a top 10, but it's probably only going to get to six, and the rest of them is boo-boo. Yeah. Top yeah. 10 centers. Um. And if you want, you don't have to put them in any order. Okay. I guess just name Yeah, just name them. I don't have an order, but yeah, it's Shaq. going to be difficult to I'm going to go Shaq, Hakeem. Um, and I'm only going off of players that I watched. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put Will. I'm not going to put Kareem. Yo, I, I don't care. I never watched homeboys play, bro. And I'm going to be honest with you. If they were as big 
And as athletic as they, everybody, all these old heads be saying they were, <laughs> they better had been doing what the hell they were doing. Right. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's you. just my opinion. So Shaq, Hakeem. Um, and that's gonna conclude that. No, I'm looking. Imagine. Oh, um, Shaq, Hakeem. Uh, top ten fives. Golly. Okay, is Dirk a five? That's hard. That's so hard. He's he, he's played it a few times, but I don't know. Are we like putting play? Because then because look at Tim. Yeah, no, no. Tim, I'm not even, uh, Tim played the five. Yeah, I'm not even going to do that because then yeah, because then you would have to put Tim in there, and no, nah, we're not going to do that. I, I'm, Eventually, I'm, all of them. So I'm be honest with you. Five. I'm be honest with you. I don't got ten centers. <laughs> I, I I I'm gonna go Shaq because he's just like dominant. I would have loved to have played with Shaq on my team, There's without a doubt. Out. Without a doubt, um, I'm gonna go Hakeem. Footwork was impeccable. Dude could get a bucket whenever he wanted. I'm gonna go Joker. I'm gonna go Joker. Um, I'm gonna throw in there. Do you think Dwight's the top ten? You know what? In 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 the match. Yeah, but I, I guess I guess if we're I mean, if we're naming the top ten, we're probably gonna name them in their prime. Yeah, so you know, you gotta put him because you're not you're not putting Shaq in your top list, and he, the Celtics Shaq. You yeah, know, like that. you're not doing sons. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't even got ten centers. I think that's okay because it is gonna be dif- difficult because there is the whole gray gray area of okay. I mean, they play the four, but they played center yeah, in, such, yeah. in so many games, and I get it. It's probably is difficult. Um. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be. I don't. I don't even think I'm gonna be as successful. But I'm probably gonna listen. I'm probably gonna name Shaq. I'm probably gonna name Olajuwon. I'm gonna put Jabbar. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put Jabbar. Um. I'm gonna put the Admiral, the Joker. Okay. Right. This is. Now this is gonna be my top ten. I think I'm gonna do the same thing that you did. I'm not saying I viewed all all those guys, but I've seen a lot of highlights of them. And I, to me, they're top 10. But I'm probably going to name a few of them that I personally view, right? And this one, this one's hard for me because at first I'm like, ah, like, they, they retired his jersey. I'm just like, why are we really doing that? Like, I don't think he's that good. But then I really went back and watched it. I'm putting Pau Gasol. Ooh. I'm putting Pau Gasol Yo, see, there you go. Kansas Celtics. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. See, because I wasn't even thinking about foul. I, I did, I didn't respect. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't respect it. I'm like, oh, here comes this. And to me, I was one of those dudes who were like, oh, but a lot of his game stints off whatever Kobe's doing. Nah. Nah, in Memphis he was that. But I ain't gonna like how he let Kobe run through his chest like that. I ain't gonna hold you. He didn't see it coming. I don't care. He you, yo, he just ain't do nothing though. Like, you wanted him to get up and be like, yo, what's good, my boy? Yo, like, all right, word, that's what we're doing? Bet. Bet. Watch this. Come, with that. Come, come to the post. I'm with like, that. elbow. Okay. Yeah. So I got six, mm-hmm. right? Another guy that I watched, really liked him. Unfortunately, injuries hit him. I'm putting Cuzzy. Oh. I'm putting DeMarco Cuzzy. Boogie, Cousy. Boogie yes. yes. Putting him up there. That's a good one. Uh, Cry baby, though. Okay, this is Boogie. this is where it's going to get into the whole, I don't I don't know if he played both or just one or the other. I want to put Chris Webber, but I'm not sure if he only played. I think he's four. more of a four. He's more of a four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so we can scratch him off. So I'm at seven. I need three more. Hey, at least you got seven. We're. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. It kind of gets. It kind of gets tough after that. Yeah. No, it gets it gets real. Kind of gets tough after that. Uh, let me not. Actually, let me not disrespect him, because yes, he's good. We're watching him now. I'm gonna put Joel. Let's put Joel up there. Throw him on the list. You're at eight. And I think that's it. That's it. You know? That's like, it. I'm trying to tell y'all. Guard is where it's at. Now, this this is obviously not naming. Like, I could e- easily put Bill Russell. Yeah, yeah. You're putting, like. I could easily put Will. You know? Yeah. Like. But. No, I'm going to put some of the dudes that I really. I watched. Some of the dudes' highlights that I, I'm, I was really invested in. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think I've seen 10 minutes of Bill Russell's highlights. No. So I'm gonna be honest. Maybe five. 
But I'm, I'm, I didn't watch that much of Bill. Yeah. And, and like you said, not taking anything. Because the thing with Bill Russell is, it's not what he did against whatever. You're a pro. You still did what you did. Yeah. I think with Bill, though, why we have to put him in any... You know what? I'm going to throw Bill for this reason and this reason only. It's not what he had to go through on the court. Bill had to go through a lot yeah, off, off the, the court. court. Yeah. And for him to have the class... Yeah. Bill, Bill's top ten. Yeah, I think he's got the most rings, right? Twelve. Yeah. Bill's, Bill's top ten. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's it, bro. I, I mean, to, to name the, my tenth, because that's nine. I named nine. You. I don't know. Who? You're ten. Yeah. I'm a close eleven. All right, cool. <laughs> oh. I consider you more like a four. I consider you more a three. I guess more. Yeah. I mean, but that's cheating, though, because I, I have to play the one, but because of my footwork, I can do the block. So I guess, all right, yeah, he's 11. He's 11. Yeah. Ba- baby Mello. Uh, yeah, I can wait Mello work the post. I can put Mello in my top. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Word. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, boy. Yeah, man, I... Damn, yo, is it... Shoot, all this stuff. Yeah. I can't... And we're probably missing mad people, but no, they don't come to mind at the moment. Damn, son. Oh, wait, oh, We're going to AD? No. No? I'm over him this year. Boss Mishkong. <laughs> I'm so mad at okay. him. I don't... I, that's all I have, bro. Tyson yeah. Chandler? Nah. All right, man. You know what? <laughs> you got your top Ooh. ten. Uh, I have a, a quick question. <laughs> could, Giannis, could Giannis be considered a five? That's it, so... I'm going to say yes and for one reason. Go ahead. For one name, Tim Duncan. Because he does play the five for them sometimes. Yeah, and Tim Tim in those those championship years against the Heat, Tim played the five. No, yeah, but like, if you... He just plays it differently. <laughs> yeah, like if you looked at his game, like if you just looked at him, hey, this is Giannis. You would not think he's a what, five. What position are you playing? Wait, Malone played center, right? No, nah, he's a Moses. four. Oh Moses! Or what? The guy on Utah? Because I was, I always Carl. mix their names. Yeah, yeah. Carl's a four. Oh okay. You know what I mean? Like, I mean we're missing out. There's like Vlad Divac. We're missing a lot. But yeah. no. But my thing is, if, bro, on the I don't know. As a five, are you thinking like post work on the block, mm-hmm. mid range? Like that's Rudy, nothing. Rudy Gobert number ten. Nah, bro. No. Nah. Bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm this will be 6'11. Let me run run to the run and alley oop the ball. The fudge? Rudy Gobert? I don't know what it is. Yo, he got paid, bro. No. All right. So, that being said, we're probably going to skip your top 10. Because yeah. it's already difficult to name like five or six dominant. Like, we could probably, we can name the centers, but to, to really put them in the top 10, we're probably going to disrespect a few people and then we're going to give people way too much praise. So, you know what? We're going to stop it there, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel, please. I, I appreciate the love that you guys have given us, but to help us out, please subscribe to the channel along with liking the video. And so you guys don't miss a beat, make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys get a notification every time you drop a video or a short, okay? But, as always, till next time, it is the Big E Smalls Podcast, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.